What's up everybody, it's Tyler here from Second Glass, and this week on the Wine of the Weekend, we are doing Sauvignon Blanc from Napa Valley, California. Sauvignon Blanc is a grape, and it's one of the most widely planted grapes in the world. Pretty much anywhere you find people growing wine grapes, you're gonna find somebody growing Sauvignon Blanc. It also happens to grow really well in California, specifically Napa Valley. Napa Valley is one of the most famous and sought after wine regions in the world. They have a lot of famous winemakers, a lot of famous wineries. It's not that hard to find $50 bottles of Cabernet. They quickly climb into the $100, $200 range. So you have these really experienced winemakers making really expensive, sought after wines, but they're also making Sauvignon Blanc. And this is great because the Sauvignon Blancs aren't very expensive. They usually range between you know, $15 to $25. Can you find a cheaper Sauvignon Blanc? Yeah, you can. Go to New Zealand, you can find them in Chile. But the thing with Napa Valley Sauvignon Blancs is they have a much higher level of quality and so you're gonna get a better wine for your money. First wine we have for you guys it comes from Honig Family Wines. It's a family owned winery, it's totally sustainably farmed, and the entire winery actually runs on solar power. The family started growing grapes in Napa Valley in 1964, and they've been making wine since the 80s. These guys make great wines, and the best thing about the Honig Sauvignon Blanc is it's not that expensive, and it's a really great bottle of wine. It's light, it's crisp, it's refreshing, it's everything you want in Sauvignon Blanc, but it has that Napa Valley kind of kiss of sunshine that you're not gonna find in the French styles. California Sauvignon Blanc tastes different because it comes from a really warm and sunny climate. And so the fruit really develops, and so you get this fruitiness along with this kind of zing of acidity that really makes it unique and really cool wine. Next one we have is super classic Napa Valley Sauvignon Blanc. This comes from Saint Supri Winery. This vineyard was founded by Robert Scally, and his family has been in the wine business since the 1920s when they opened up a wine importer in Algeria. French family, so they own some vineyards in France, also bought some vineyards in Italy, and then they came to Napa Valley in the 1970s, saw the opportunity, and started Saint Supri Winery. The Saint Supri Sauvignon Blanc blends this idea of a French style Sauvignon Blanc, which is where Sauvignon Blanc originally comes from, in France and the Bordeaux region, or the Loire Valley, they don't really know. I think the two regions fight over it. So it takes this idea of a lighter, crisper, higher acid French style Sauvignon Blanc and blends it with the the style of California. And so you get that fruit from California, but that really crisp, zinging acidity that you get from a French style Sauvignon Blanc. Really great bottle. Last but not least, we have a really cool wine from Gergich Hills. It's called the Fume Blanc, and it's made from Sauvignon Blanc. This one's 30 bucks, so it's a little bit expensive, but it's got a cool story. First, Mike Gergich, he came over from Croatia with $10 nailed into the sole of his shoe back in the 1950s. And he started working for Chateau Montalena and made their Chardonnay, which won the Judgment of Paris in 1976. Beat all the Chardonnays from France. He's a rock star. He then started Gergich Hills Winery, his own winery, and his investors were the Hills Brothers coffee people, so Gergich Hills. This wine is called Fumé Blanc, and it's not called Sauvignon Blanc, because back in the day, Robert Mondavi, who was a genius at marketing, right? Robert Mondavi is the one that came up with the idea in America to call all the wines by the grape. They don't do that in Europe. They name it after the region. He didn't think Americans would figure that out. So he's like, let's name them after the grapes. But Sauvignon Blanc just wasn't selling. He couldn't get it to work. So he rebranded it and called it Fumé Blanc because the most popular white wine at the time was Pouilly Fousse. Pouilly Fousse is a place in Burgundy and they make Chardonnay there. It was really famous in the US in the 60s. So he's like, you know what? That's famous. I'm gonna call my Sauvignon Blanc Fumé Blanc. And it worked, people started buying it. The difference was he also added a little bit of oak. So he aged the Sauvignon Blanc in some oak barrels, which is something that nobody else really does. Aging Sauvignon Blanc in oak barrels adds this heavier kind of richness to it. Almost makes it taste like a Chardonnay, but without the buttery flavors. The way I look at this wine is it's like going to a wood-walled, leather-clad steakhouse. This is not the cheapest steak you're ever gonna have. But the experience, it's so classic that you just have to do it and you really enjoy the experience. So if you haven't gotten a chance, there's a couple producers out there. We prefer the Gergich Hills Fumé Blanc, but you gotta try one of these wines. They're really interesting, a little bit heavier, so you can have it with like tuna or you can even have it with pork. So it's got this like heaviness to it. Great wine because it still has that zing of acidity to it. So go out and grab a Sauvignon Blanc from America's most famous wine region, Napa Valley. You will not be disappointed. Cheers.